That's what we're doing. That's what we're cooking tonight. <laughs> well, yes, fried cabbage, but what else? We're cooking sweet potatoes. Right. And you know, sweet potatoes is usually a, a main side dish at Thanksgiving. Of course, we're having fried cabbage and we're having what we call here uh, skillet sweet potatoes. A lot of times at Thanksgiving, our girls love sweet potato casserole, and it's not one of my Dean's favorites, really. He would, you would rather have skillet sweet potatoes, wouldn't you? Yeah, I call them candy yams, but they're not really they're not really candy yams. I mean, people call them different things. It just depends on where you're from. But I grew up on skillet fried up sweet potatoes. And that's what we're having tonight. But I was. You know, this is even good for Thanksgiving or Christmas with your ham or whatever. But what I'm saying is a lot of people want to do the sweet potato casserole. And that is a good side dish. And like I said, I've got kids that eat it. So i got a daughter-in-law that's going to be making sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving. But we just like them. Just the old-fashioned way. Skillet fried sweet potatoes. So that's what we're fixing to do. And I've got my iron skillet here, and you don't have to do it in an iron skillet. You can do it in any good skillet you've got. And I'm going to take about a half a stick of butter, more or less. Now, you can double this recipe with it just me and, me and Danny. Um, I cut up about four small sweet potatoes. Uh, probably if you're going to feed very many people, you want to do about six to eight, you know, medium-sized sweet potatoes. Use a whole stick of butter. And I want to show you the size that, this is about the size that I like to cut my sweet potatoes. That way they'll cook up really good. About that thin. So I got my sweet potatoes and I got my butter in the skillet and I'm going to let it melt just a little bit. I got my stove on about medium high. Now I'm just going to throw my sweet potatoes in there. And these are fresh garden sweet potatoes. They didn't come from the store. And they're just really pretty too. Now, I like, even though these are going to have brown sugar, and I'm going to put about a half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, and if you were doubling this, you'd put about a cup of brown sugar. I'm even going to put just a little bit of vanilla. You don't have to. That's optional. And I'm going to put a pinch of salt. Just like that. And I'm just going to stir these up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on this. And these are going to cook in this skillet. We're not putting any kind of other liquid in it. And these are going to cook up probably about 45 minutes. Now, if you're doubling the recipe and you've got a, a bigger batch, it'll probably take about an hour. But you need to come back and you need to stir them every so often. But you want to get them good and coated with your butter and your brown sugar and all that good stuff. And these are just really good with with your ham at Thanksgiving or Christmas. So I'm gonna cook us a couple of pork chops to go with this too. So I think I've got them coated pretty good. And I'm gonna put a lid on it. And that's all there is to that. The lid on it, it's about that simple. I think I'm going to turn my fire down just a little bit. And then we'll come back and check them. Cooking barefooted again. <laughs> Don't be showing my face. 
Um, come back. We're going to come back and stir them every once in a while. I love my barefoot cook. <laughs> Okay, they've been cooking about uh, 11 minutes. I want to show you how much liquid is in the skillet now. And they're really starting to get tender already. Just keep them stirred a little bit so they don't stick. And I'm going to put the lid back on it and keep it cooking. Okay, they've been cooking about 20 minutes. And because I cut them so thin, they're, they're getting tender really quick. So, now that they're tender, I'm going to take the lid off, and then I'm going to start letting them fry up a little bit and get rid of some of that moisture. So, they're looking good. They're tender. So, when you're slicing your sweet potatoes up, you do need to cut them pretty thin. That way, it don't take as long for them to cook up. i got about five minutes left on my potatoes and what I do is I just turn them over just like you were frying regular potatoes. I just kept them turned over. And they're they're pretty much done. So as soon as I cut them like I said and uh, these were just four smaller sweet potatoes. I don't even know if they were all medium size. So it took about 25 minutes. So that wasn't bad. But if you were making double, triple, it would probably take about 45 minutes to an hour. But our sweet potatoes are done. I think I'll get Mr. Brown over here and see if he'll taste them for me. And then we'll get our supper on the table. I hope y'all like this recipe. It's really easy. It's just your old-fashioned sweet potatoes. You ready to taste them? I'm ready to taste them. My stomach's been growling. I've been smelling all this good food <laughs> cooking. Well, it is getting kind of late. And I'm hungry. We get home from work and sometimes we have to eat a late supper. They're hot. <laughs> yeah, well, they're hot. Tastes okay? You're double dipping. You're double dip? <laughs> uh, you can have one. They're really good. I mean, this is my favorite. I go have sweet potatoes this way as anyway. Ooh. Oh, pork, pork chops, chops are popping. They're hot. So I'm fixing to make your plate when you sit down and eat. Well, I'm hungry. I'm ready. You gonna make the tea? Put some sugar in the tea? Sure. Sugar's over there. I'll do her. I hope y'all like this recipe. It's quick, it's simple. Old fashioned sweet potatoes. To us, they're the best, but. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. We've got holiday recipes coming. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and God bless.